Glenn Foster played football at the University of Illinois and spent two years playing defense for the New Orleans Saints. This weekend, he died while being held in jail in a tiny Alabama town. The chief of the Reform Alabama Police Department say they tried to stop Foster for speeding when he took off, eventually crashing. He admits his officers had some sort of physical engagement with Foster but he was alive when handed over to the Pickens County, Alabama Sheriff's Office. The reform police chief says that out of concern for, quote, erratic behavior displayed by Foster, after he spoke with his parents who said that Foster was diagnosed with bipolar disorder at 20 years old, the chief says he began to make arrangements with the parents to bail Foster out. In a statement on his son's death, Glenn Foster Sr. says, we want justice for our son. It's unfair. It's inhumane. It's just not right. The coroner there confirms to WWL that Foster died two days later while waiting to be released. Illinois State Rep Cam Bugner played ball with Foster at Illinois. When I when I heard the news, um, it just was extremely shocking to me. He says that after his concern for the family left behind, the next thing on his mind is the circumstances of his friend's death. The, the, the past does not repeat itself, but it, it does rhyme, right? Um, and we've seen um, cases before that appear uh, like like this, and to think that uh, no matter what happened, that he took his last breaths, uh, maybe in a police cell by himself, um, it is really uh, disheartening and, and it's, it's problematic. One of the more confusing parts of this case are these booking records. The first shows a date and time of Foster's release with no bond amount. The second shows a different set of charges altogether, also lacks any release information, but adds a bond charge of $2,800. I, I, I am an attorney. I don't practice criminal law. Um, but th th there are there are a lot of questions um, based on what has come, uh, the, the facts that we know uh, as they are right now. Um, I, I have not seen that in, in, in my uh, career, and I'm very curious and interested to why it happened that way and what that means. That was J.D. Career reporting. Foster's friends and family all spoke about him as a gentle giant who loved to help people, which is why those who knew him the best have a lot of questions about what exactly led to his death. Earlier tonight, the Saints tweeted out condolences to Glenn Foster's family, as did players Cam Jordan and Mark Ingram. Teron Armstead tweeted, quote, I really can't find the words to properly express. Rest in peace, Glenn Foster. You'll be missed, bro. And Drew Brees shared a photo of Foster saying, quote, my heart goes out to the family and friends of my former teammate, Glenn Foster. I'll always remember his smile and positive nature.